Hi everyone, I visited Yosemite many times while living in California. Today we're going to discover all the things you should not do on your next trip to Yosemite National Park. Number one, don't come in the fall if you want to see all the majestic waterfalls. Yosemite sees less than 5% of its annual precipitation in the summer, leaving streams, creeks, and waterfalls just barely trickling by fall. If you want to see Yosemite Falls, the tallest waterfall in North America, really flowing, then I suggest late April or May. Coming to Yosemite in the early months really gives you the best view of the waterfalls and allows you to see them at their best. Number two, don't book a hotel just because it has Yosemite in the name. Finding accommodation in Yosemite can be hard. I stayed in Yosemite Valley Lodge. It was expensive, but it did give you the most convenient location to stay and see the park. However, many lodges aren't like this. They will have Yosemite in the name, but are miles away from the park or where you want to be. So don't be fooled. Number three, don't think you arrived just yet. Yosemite is nearly 1,200 square miles, so just because you've reached the border of the park doesn't mean you are anywhere close to the popular spots. At the entrance by Oak Flat Station, you are still 25 miles, or about a 45 minute drive just to Yosemite Valley, so be prepared for switchbacks and driving. Number four, don't hike Half Dome without a permit. Hiking up Half Dome is an amazing experience, but the hike requires a permit, which is checked by our park ranger at the 10 mile mark, so come prepared. Number five, don't bring bear spray. While there are bears in Yosemite, you aren't allowed any bear spray. Personally, I disagree with this, but the park sees fit to consider it a weapon, so bring it at your own risk. Number six, don't underestimate the weather. One second, I was basking in the sun. Next, there was a rainstorm, then snow, then everything melted. This was in the month of May, so maybe bring an umbrella or a coat just in case. Number seven, don't expect any cell service. There is virtually no cell service in the entire park. However, you can get Wi-Fi at Yosemite Valley Lodge, but it's nothing special and very weak. Number eight, don't forget to fill up your gas. The gas stations around Yosemite are some of the most expensive I have seen in the entire country, about 20 to 30% more than other parts of California. If you plan to do lots of driving around Yosemite, then be ready to budget for gas. Number nine, don't arrive on a weekend if you can help it. The crowds are insane in Yosemite on the weekend. There's people everywhere and the traffic gets crazy. If you can help it, then come during the week or during the off season. Number 10, don't forget to make a reservation. The park is extremely popular, especially in the summer, but that can lead to overcrowding and the National Park Service requiring reservations to enter. As of right now, the park requires a reservation for certain dates, so come prepared. That's everything, but if I missed something, feel free to put it in the comments. As always, stay tuned for more and thanks for watching.